Hello and welcome to Sontora. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your Internet Explorer 11 to make it work and compatible with the Sontora website. Please let me tell you that it's very important that you follow these steps before you even try to log in to Sontora. Otherwise, um, you risk to have certain buttons and even your password not to work. So please follow these steps uh, as close as possible. And feel free to repeat this video as, as much as as many times as you need it. And uh, and I will also leave uh, uh, a link to the PDF file <clears throat> that will allow you to follow the steps if you prefer to print them out. Um, but again, you can always re rewind or replay this video as many times as needed. I'll cover the same documentation as in the PDF file. Also, make sure that you follow this configuration on all your computers that you're trying to use and access some total that includes your home desktop or your uh, laptop at work or if you have a, uh, a desktop at work you, know, you can use that one too to, uh, to configure your, uh, your Internet Explorer. If you're using a tablet uh, depending on the version of the tablet surface that you have this configuration may or, not, or, or may not work. Also, be aware that if we have a some sort of um, mobile site. It's not an app. It's a you can. This is a different address or link address uh, than the regular some sort of link that I provided to you before. Uh, I will also leave that link to access some sort of using your iPhone or your Android smartphone. Um, please know that when you use a smartphone you don't need to do this configuration which is great in my opinion and i personally prefer that version um, because it's simpler the layout and the interface is much better and also again because you don't have to configure anything and it works across many devices with no issues and you can also take pictures of your receipts or multiple receipts and attach them to your report etc etc so um i just get excited talking about it so i really invite you to try it I will leave the link on the description box of the video here below. And so let's get to the configuration for your Internet Explorer. Um, so first make sure that you are using Internet Explorer 11. Um, I'm not sure how familiar you are with this browser, but on the top right corner you have the tool uh, icon, the tools icon, and you also have the tools menu. Either or work uh, for the sake of this video. I will stick to the tool icon on the top right corner. So let's get started by clicking on the tool icon and uh, we're going to click on internet options. Let me bring this to the middle so you guys can see it. Um, we're going to click, uh, once we're in the internet option menu, make sure you click on uh, delete and then you, you have all these um, boxes that you can click on but you only need to have the temp cookies and history boxes check so if you have something like that you have to make sure you have only these three and then you can click on delete and then you're gonna click on apply you're gonna click on ok to go back to the main screen now this time you're gonna click on tools again this is the second step now we're gonna click on compatibility view settings and I'm gonna we're gonna let me bring this to the middle so you can see it and whatever you have here you can delete it and you can type in some total systems .com. you're gonna click on the add button make sure it removes it down here and um, once it's there or if you have a typo you can always remove it I'll remove it so I can show you how to type it in again some total systems .com. you're gonna add it and then you're gonna close it now we're going to go back to internet options but this time we're going to go to the privacy tab let me put this in the middle and you're going to make sure that the turn up pop blocker is unchecked if you have a check please make sure you uncheck it and also make sure that the disabled toolbars is checked you're going to click on apply you're going to press ok now we're going to go back to internet options we're going to click on well we're going to click on settings under the general tab 
you're gonna make sure you click on the every time I visit web page you select that one and press OK and now we're gonna click under in the general tabs in under interruption we're gonna click on tabs and we're gonna make sure that we have the first and the third boxes checked only you're gonna make sure that you might see the open each new item next to the current tab you might see that it is grayed out depending on your computer configuration uh, you can ignore that just make sure that the first and the third are checked if the even the enable to the group is checked you can uncheck it um, then move into the dropbox and select the new tab page select always pop up open pop-ups in a new window you're gonna select open links from other programs in new window again you might have different selections when you go here for the first time just follow what i'm showing you here and you should be okay once you have um, completed or check all these boxes press ok apply and press ok to close interruptions and you have completed the configuration of your browser so now you should be able to access some total please um, i'll leave the link in the description for accessing some total um, again make sure you follow these steps before you even dare to try to log into some total otherwise you're gonna log out your account um, once you complete these steps, you may feel, uh, you should be able to access some total using the password and credentials that we submitted you before. But if you have any issues or problems, feel free to um, to email us at expense to the or USA. Um, and well, we invite you to continue watching this video series that we have here for you. Uh, make sure you complete uh, now your profile, enter your bank account, your credit card and make sure to give a look uh, at the video that we have on how to create your expenses so after all this series you should be ready to go and uh, we appreciate your time on this and we look forward to see you again thank you so much have a good day